I was 10 years old when this happened, so I wasn't, you know, deeply aware of the heart scandal in 1987. Uh, three years ago, I heard a Radiolab piece, and I just couldn't believe that there was a moment in our recent history where the presumed next president of the United States wound up in a dark alleyway in the middle of the night with three journalists, and no one knew exactly what to do because no one had ever been here before. Uh, it brought up all this connective tissue with 2018 and so many questions that I personally had and I just knew immediately I needed to make this into a movie. I reached out to Matt Bai, the writer of the book uh, on Gary Hart, who was already working with Jay Carson, uh, former press secretary for Howard Dean, Hillary Clinton, and they came over to the house and the first thing we did was we watched The Candidate, the Michael Ritchie film. And that became kind of a North Star for us. There was something about that film. It was a film that did not judge its characters and presented these, these were, it presented these worlds uh, so realistically. It felt like you were always just dropped down into the middle of the campaign. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to be the, we wanted the front runner to be a movie that just dropped you into the campaign bus, campaign plane, the Washington Post, the Miami Herald, uh, where so much information was coming at you in real time uh, that you as a viewer were forced to make a decision about what is important, what is innocuous, what is relevant, how do I feel about this? This is the feeling that we want people having as they walk out of the theater. The Front Runner is a script that was co-written by a New York Times Magazine journalist who covered multiple presidencies, uh, a campaign operative who was the press secretary for Howard Dean and Hillary Clinton, and myself, you know, uh, the son of the director of Ghostbusters. Uh, and uh, I guess it's an unusual screenplay in that instead of starting with the plot, we started with the locations. We wanted these rooms to feel real, and we wanted them to be filled with just as much innocuous conversation about, hey, where are you gonna go buy beer after? Where are we going for dinner? Um, as they were about, you know, potent political subjects. Every director on earth dreams of working with Hugh Jackman. Uh, not only is he talented, not only is he hardworking, but he's extraordinarily decent and lovely to everybody, and the crew and the cast love him. Uh, Hugh Jackman is a guy, he's, Hugh Jackman is an actor whose heart just kind of bursts out of his chest, whether he's playing Logan or The Greatest Showman. He's one of these actors that just kind of brims with emotion. And in The Front Runner, Hugh Jackman does something we've never seen him do before. In the role of Gary Hart, he plays an enigma, a guy who we desperately want to understand. And he brings us within like an inch, but never completely lets us in. JK and I have now made something like nine movies together. Um, and I suppose I'm always asking myself, what would JK Simmons do? Uh, and in any given situation, I imagine what he would say, how he would act, uh, and, and I think that goes for real life as well. Uh, so, I suppose when I think of my own work, it is one of my movies because J.K. Simmons is in it, and he's an integral voice to the filmmaking family that I've build, been building over my life. Unlike anyone alive in 2018, I look around and I wonder, how the hell did we get here? And when I heard the heart story for the first time, it felt as though there were a thread that I wanted to pull on that led us to 2018. Uh, we're living in a moment where we're constantly asking ourselves, what is important? What is relevant? And that is what the Gary Hart story asks the audience. You know, here is this candidate, this candidate with big ideas, exceptionally smart, prescient, but also flawed, a human being, a guy who made mistakes. And look, we're living in a moment where we have a president who is deeply flawed, and where we are constantly asking ourselves, what flaws are we willing to put up with? And where does the private meet the public? How much do we want to know about these candidates? And how do we find that out? 
And we have questions about journalism, we have questions about gender politics, and The Front Runner is a movie that kind of gets into all of that. You know, The Front Runner is a real life thriller. It's hard to believe that this actually happened, that a guy went from being the actual frontrunner, the presumed next president of the United States, and within one week, he left politics forever. This is a, a story that explores how that happened, why that happened, from the points of view of a dozen different people, the journalists, the campaign people, even his family members, uh, uh, who were all trying to do the right thing as the world shifted under their feet.